hey guys welcome back to my channel in my last video i show you how we can display static data in a recycler view and today's video i'm going to show you how we can uh, download data from the api and display on the uh, recycler view along with that i'm going to show you how we can uh, use the glide library so let's get started this is the url where we have some uh, github data so let's start let's add the dependency file click on file project structure and then click on this plus button library dependencies and type the retrofit here and click on search button so you can see the dependencies add this retrofit to also we need the retrofit converter like gjoson search it and figure it out this one add this we need the glide library we are going to display the thumbnails we are going to download so add this dependency as well apply okay let's sing this project and we'll continue So let's add a package first of all. We'll put our network files in this package only. Let's create a file. That is a class file actually. That is a ret uh, retro instance. So it is going to return us the retro instance, and another class that is going to be a again the interface the retro service interface there you go so let's write the code this class is basically going to return us the object of our retrofit so let's create a companion object and function get retro instance that is a function name and it is going to return us retrofit follow the steps with me so here we need to pass the url the base url let's create a base url first of all the same url we are going to use okay. this is the url from where we are going to download the data we need the converter factory so that is basically convert our data into the object and then build and this function is going to return the retro instance yeah looks good let's go to the retro service class and here we need to make this api call so we need to write a function for that and we need to define the, the method it is going to be the get and we need a, the base url is here and rest of the url is going to be passed from here this is the repositories and this method is going to take rest of the parameter as a query parameter so whatever comes after the question mark is as a query parameter. Let me 
is Q and the value New York is going to pass from the activity. Let's see what kind of a data it is going to return. So let's create our data class. Previously we used this recycler data. So now this going to be changed as per the JSON file we are going to download from the API. So here you can take a look. It is going to return us items type of array. And inside us we are going we are going to just use the name and description and the thumbnail URL. That's it. So currently let's use those parameters only. That is the name instead of title and description where we have okay here it is it is going to use the same one and we need this URL to show the thumbnails so this comes under the owner class so let's create another data class for name as the owner owner Make sure your spellings are correct. And let's create another data class as an honor and which is going to use this star URL as a parameter. A string type. There you go. So this is going to return there. Let's comment it out this static data which you are displaying in my last video. So now we are going to make the retro instance here and using the retro library we are going to download that data and display it on the recycler view. At the end of this video I will show you how you can use the glide library to display. So make sure to watch till end. So let's continue. So this is going to return as the retro instance then call the methods and pass the value New York that is going to display download data which match with the keyword query parameter as in New York. Call it NQ object. Call back as that is it is going to return as this list. We need to override these two methods. There you go. On response get call when we got the success response or any when we hit the API correctly so it's successful we'll look at and then the items and then we need to set this data to our adapter so let's set it And then we need to call the notify data set of the adapter class and here in case of error let's display a toast on the screen to know the user make toast context and the 
messes. Messes. What we need to display to sh show the user. So we need to change our adapter as we have changed in our data class. So this is going to be the name. Description will remain same. Right, looks good to me. Let's take a look everywhere. So we got this. Yes. All right. Yep. So we commented out the static data, and now this function is going to download the data from the API and run this. Let's run this application and see how it looks like. There you go. So we are able to hit the API successfully and get the data from the API and display it on the recycler view. So that's good. So we see like some of the description is not available. So let's put a check in our uh, adapter so if data is description is not available then we'll show some defined masses the text util dot is not empty then displayed from the api else will show some masses to the user so description dot text is equal to no description available that's better. Let's run it and see. You can see here, so no description available. You see now. So let's put in a decorator, item decorator. That is just a separator in between each row. So let's add it. So this is defined with the recycler view. So you can use it. Assign it to the item decorator. Let's run it and see if we can see some difference. So now you can see the separator between each item row. So this line is for that only. So it's look better now. Okay, now let's move on to show the image thumb on uh, our each row. So let's go to the uh, data uh, layout class. And first of all, add this description in a, some limit of three lines. So description will maximum be layout three lines now. Let's add a, let's customize this layout to show the thumbnail on the uh, recycler view. So let's add a linear layout, image view. So here we need to add another linear layout. And left hand side it is going to show thumbnail and then right hand side the name and the description. So we need to add another linear layout to make it a little bit Good looking. So, yeah, cut it and paste it over there. And give it a ID.
adapters can change in the adapters uh, and and read that layout and set the so here we are going to use the glide library to download the image and cache it for locally so this library is very useful in case you are playing with the uh, images so let's read the url first and create an instance of glide pass where we are going to show the image load and pass the url The image is going to display in a circle as you have seen on the lot of applications. This is the default image in case like uh, um, before download the image we need to show some kind of image so this is just a default image. In case of as a fallback in case of error anything happen we are not able to download in that case it is going to show just the default image. You can use any image in your case it all depends on the requirement into pass or image view that's it let's run our application and see how it look like there you go so currently image is on top let's set it's a good but currently let's change it in a layout let's set it gravity as a center and get a margin from the start as a 10 dpn let's run this application now it should look good there you go so it's perfect now here you can see so it's downloading images it's downloading api data and it's displaying it so this is basically the github data the user's data and simply it's downloading and hitting it and showing it let's change this new york to some other keyword i'm using atlanta so you can use a text view and there you can give an option for user to input something and pass it to the query parameter. It all depends on your API. So now it is going to show Atlanta data. So it's hitting with the keyword Atlanta and downloading the Atlanta data and displaying it on a UI. So that's all for today's video.